I'm doing thoracic uh, paravertebral blocks here. As you can see, we've marked off uh, C7 through T4, and we're going to go with the uh, T3, 4 level to do this uh, first paravertebral block. We're getting our image uh, where we can see it best, lining up our probe, just lateral to the midline. And here's our image on an ultrasound. You can see the T3 process, the T4 transverse process, the pleura, the shiny pleura, you can see very easily, and then the costal transverse ligament just above the pleura. And we have to get the tip of our needle in between the, the costal uh, transverse ligament and the pleura to deposit our local anesthetic to make this a, a successful block. Now one of the keys is, one of the important factors is the um, injection port where you start your injection has to be very close to the probe uh, to be able to get the tip of the needle between the two transverse processes. So with this very steep angle, it's uh, very difficult to see your needle. So echogenic properties are very important uh, in your needle to be able to see it as it approaches uh, the transverse processes and the pleura. So with this uh, Sonotui needle, it uh, has the echogenic uh, markings on the last two centimeters of the needle, so it makes it very easy to see, easy to see as you see it approaching here, going right over the transverse process of T4. Very, very critical in this block that you know where the tip of that needle is and you don't puncture the, the pleura and get into the lung. You can see our uh, Sano Tui advancing uh, between the vertebrae and you can see the last two centimeters, um, the echogenicity of this needle is just really, really, really shines up well and it's extremely helpful in, when you're using this steep, steep angle here to be able to see it as you're approaching the pleura. Obviously, we got to be careful, and you don't want you want to know where the pleura is and the tip of your needle at all times, so that you don't advance the needle through the pleura into the lungs. You see the needle in this view very well. Now we bring our pleura back into view, so we can see again the tip of our needle right here above the pleura, but below the costal transverse ligament, so we can deposit our local anesthetic in in the space that we want it to be in. As you can see, it's very gentle, very slow movements of the needle. You take your time, you try to advance. As you can see the injection there pushing the pleura down, uh, but you take your time to get this needle exactly in the right place. Uh, it's a very delicate block, and uh, it's, it's, um, you have to see exactly what you're doing to be able to make this successful without having the complications that, are, that can very easily occur.